Well, here we are, Friday, the 9th of October. And when I started producing videos in March, I had uh, no idea that I might still be doing it in October, but uh, I've enjoyed it. I hope you have as well. Thank you for joining me. Today we're looking at Psalm 43. It begins by saying, Vindicate me, O God, and plead my cause against an ungodly nation. Rescue me from deceitful and wicked men. Have you ever thought anything like this? I think we've had cause on several occasions in recent years to feel that we live in an ungodly nation and among deceitful and wicked men. Well, the psalmist calls on God to vindicate him. Vindicate me, O God. And the word vindicate is a legal term calling for judgment. Next, the psalmist wants God to be his defence attorney. Plead my cause against an ungodly nation. And I think that this is, is comforting, that God will judge and bring justice to this world. It doesn't matter what the power balance is at the moment. In the end, God is all-powerful and, and he will judge the world according to his just standards. You are God, my stronghold. Why have you rejected me? Why must I go about mourning, oppressed by the enemy? Send forth your light and your truth. Let them guide me. Let them bring me uh, to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. Then I will go to the altar of my God, to God, my joy and my delight. I will praise you with the harp, O God, my God. And here the psalmist asks God to act, sending his light and truth. And they will then lead the psalmist back to God's holy hill in Jerusalem, where God's house or tabernacle stands. Light illuminates the way, just as the pillar of fire led the Israelite people through the wilderness. And truth defines the way, or is the way itself. God sends his light and his truth to lead us to himself. His son is the light and the truth. And, of course, we come to the Father through him. The psalmist's goal is to be able to enter again into the presence of God and worship him by praising God with the harp. Only God's light can dispel darkness of grief and depression. And this light brings deliverance, healing and guidance back into God's presence where we can worship once again. The most miserable Christians are those who know Christ but are not living in him. They have the worst of both worlds. They can no longer be satisfied with their old life, yet neither can they be satisfied in the Lord. And if you know somebody like that, it might be an opportunity after reading this psalm to pray that they will be restored. Well, verse 5. Why are you downcast, O my soul? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Saviour and my God. This psalm concludes in the, with the same words as Psalm 42. And I hope that you can own those words. Why so downcast, O my soul? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him. That's our hope. Have a great weekend. Bye for now.